everyone. So it is Friday morning, I'm getting ready to leave, and I really wanted to do this video. And I know I always say that, but this time in particular, I really, really, really want you guys to listen to what I'm saying. Okay, so yesterday I was watching a Dan McDonald video. We all know that I love him. He's the reason I'm a raw foodist, and he just, I continue to watch his videos because he's so inspiring. And if you are just now starting out with raw foods, go watch Dan McDonald. He's the life regenerator on YouTube. I'm sure you guys have all heard of him, but if you haven't, please look him up because he is so amazing. Anyway, he was, he said a quote in one of his videos and he, he said, a world full of sick vegans is no better than a world full of sick meat eaters. And when he said that, oh my gosh, the light was just like, da -da 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 -da. you know, it just went off for me. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. Okay, so let's not really get it twisted. I still represent and love and will always represent and love the vegan lifestyle, especially the raw vegan lifestyle, obviously. But you can eat so unhealthy and call yourself a vegan, you know? You cannot eat animal products, but eat processed foods, loads of bread, um, you know, Pepsi is vegan. That's always the joke. You can eat Fritos and Pepsi and still be vegan, okay? But that's gonna make you a very sick, unhealthy vegan, just, you know, the same if you were eating a steak and the Pepsi and the chips, you know what I mean? So. That is why the golden key secret to health is detoxification, okay? So if you're a vegan and still eating processed foods and soy and just all that junk, then it's not going to get you anywhere and you're going to be like, well, I'm vegan, why don't I feel good? Well, <laughs> that's why, you know? It's the raw organic produce that's going to get you to health and more importantly than that, it's detox, okay? It's getting your kidneys to filter. It's cleaning up a lifetime of a dirty liver, you know, from a whole host of, of things, you know? It's cleaning out the body. It's getting the lymph system to finally move and to not be sludged down with toxins, you know? It, it, it's so much deeper than just not eating animal products, you know what I mean? Yes, if the whole world was vegan, then it would save, you know, billions of, of land and sea animals. And, and that's why I still, you know, if you're gonna go vegan and not go raw, I still recommend that because even taking the animal products out of the diet can make you better to some extent, but eventually you're gonna hit a plateau and you're not gonna get to the true level of health without detoxifying. So that's why when Dan said that quote, I was just like, oh my God, Dan, that's so true, you know? So instead of vegans promoting veganism, why not promote detoxification? Because that's really, like I always say over and over, it's the golden key to health, okay? So if you're watching this and you're saying, well, okay, how do I detox? Well, for starters, start eating a high fruit raw vegan diet because the fruit, that's gonna make you detox, you know what I mean? But eventually you're gonna have to start adding in the herbs and that's why I love Dr. Robert Morse's uh, Heal His Herbs because they, they just, sometimes the raw food is not enough, you know, especially if you have a dis, a dis ease or if you have some sort of a malady in your body, the herbs really, you know, they really get you to detox and they also strengthen and heal the glands in the body and the organs. So, especially because our produce is just, it's so mineral deficient these days, even organic, and it's not grown correctly, you know what I mean? So that's when the herbs come into play. And um, so yeah, I mean, we've just got to detox and we've got to learn to love it and embrace it and embrace the healing crises and embrace the uncomfortable detox days. You know, I have had probably countless detox days, but they pass and then you you go up one more step on the ladder and you feel so much better, you know? I still have a long way to go until I have crystal clear skin from head to toe, then I know that I am not, you know, at my highest potential be and even then I won't be because you could, you know, be detoxing your whole life and still not, you know, be where you want to be because once you understand that detox is just, it's not something you can do in a day or two, 
or a week. I mean, it takes years to erase a whole lifetime of a horrible lifestyle. And I have, and I have taken antibiotics. I have had the, all of the vaccines. I have eaten the standard American diet for 20, 20 and a half years. I have um, taken prescription drugs for my acne because my dermatologist didn't understand health and she didn't say, Victoria, it's because of your diet and lifestyle that you have this acne, you know what I mean? They said, oh, we'll just take this drug and pay me this much, you know what I mean? So I have a lot to, to fix and, er and erase, if you wanna say that. And I have a lot of healing left to go. I'm not perfect. I'm a mere mortal, just like everyone else. But I have been on this raw vegan lifestyle for three years and it has changed my life to the point where I, you know, I can't even put it into words. It's changed not only my physical body, but it's changed my soul. And I know that that's deep for a lot of people, but once you go raw, your emotions just zing they get so crazy and your spirituality increases and just um it's like the colors of the world get more vibrant you know i always say i love color but once i went raw i loved color probably 10 million times more and i just love living a vibrant life and i love eating vibrant fruits and veg man you know i just but detox is where it's at and so if you're trying to go vegan go vegan first but you got to eventually go raw because raw veganism and detox and healing, that's where you wanna be. That's where your goal should be is to go raw. You know what I mean? Eat your salads, green juice, smoothies. Eat all of the organic fruit you want. Uh, work, on your, uh, work on your raw vegan salad dressings. Just make this a hobby. You know what I mean? Make health your hobby. That's what I've done. And now I've gotten to the point where, I, you know, this is, this is where I'm at, this is where I'm gonna stay. So now I can focus on other things. Like I just started my Etsy store. And um, now I, I just, I have the health and the vibrancy to where now I can start focusing on other things in my life. But I'm still gonna be making these videos because this information needs to be out there. People are walking around sick, depressed, and tired, and they can't figure out why. And they go to the doctor, and the doctor can't figure out why. And then, like I said, they just write out from their little prescription tablet for you to take down and be, you know, numbed down with more prescription drugs. And you never really can reach the f your full potential of health. And that's why raw veganism and detoxifying is so important, especially in a day and age where people are just ugh, lulled down with toxins and they need to be unleashed and let go, you know what I mean? So keep eating your fruits and veg, keep looking into detoxifying, look up Dr. Robert Morse, he's pretty much the king genius in my opinion to uh, detoxifying, he does YouTube videos, so check those out, he's amazing. And uh, watch Dan's videos, just, like I said, make this a hobby because it's the best hobby you could ever have in your life is focusing on the health of your physical body. Because another thing that Dan was talking about is that people on the other side, people who have died, all they want is the physical body. And right now, you and I watching this, we have a physical body. And no matter how sick you are, overweight you are, tired, depressed, you can turn it around. Okay, and we have a physical body right now, so why take it for granted? Why feed it garbage when you can feed it life-giving foods? And the better you treat your body, the better it will treat you because you won't be sick and tired and depressed and just mm, wanting to walk around like a zombie. No, you can be turned on, your light bulb can be on, you can have all the energy you want, you know, all the abundance you want. And we just, we've got to start figuring this out in our lifestyle that, if you don't have health, you don't have anything. You can have all the money, the love, the family, but if you don't have your health and if you're on your sick, dying bed, you don't have anything. So let's start right now before, if you're lucky enough to not have a dis-ease, let's start before you get one. And all it is is eating your fruits and veg, you guys. Like I always say, it's very simple. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I'm gonna have a beautiful Friday. I hope you do too. And I will see you later. Bye.